Hi, this is Craig Hockenberry from the Icon Factory. I'm here to show you a quick demo of our new app, World Wide Web, for iOS and Mac OS. A pretty simple app. It uh, basically runs a web server on any one of your uh, devices. In this case, I'm showing you here, it's uh, running a, uh, on a Mac. Um, there's just one window on this, and there's two parts to the window. There's the website folder, which is where you get your HTML, CSS, and JavaScript content, and then there's the web server, which presents it to the browser. So we've got this new little site that I've been working on here. Uh, it's in my iCloud drive, and I am going to uh, get that website to appear in, in my browser on the right here. So the first thing I do is I open the uh, folder. Uh, you can see that this is in my iCloud drive in a, a folder called RuneStone. Uh, I'll explain why it's there in a little bit later, but for, all, for now all you need to know is that we have a folder here called Test. Okay, I'm going to choose that. Uh, you can see now that, that this actually shows up in my list of recent folders, and I can start the web server. So it shows me that the web server is running and hasn't had any requests. Now, all I do is say open the browser and there's the website that uh, that I'm working on. You know, I can come up here and you know say, well, you know, say World Wide Web product website. Save that file. Refresh it. You get the you get the idea. I'm going to turn that make that's too long a title, so I'm going to undo that change and, and refresh again. So, real simple. It uh, lets you build websites using HTML, and there's the CSS for this website. You know, again, I could make a change here in this file, come over to the browser and refresh it. This is, you know, not rocket science. But where it gets interesting is this web server URL here. That is a uh, a bonjour address that lets you uh, access that website from any other device. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, what I've just done is launched the World Wide Web app on my iPad here and it's gone into the, what's called the browser section. Um, what will happen is whenever you start a worldwide web server on another machine, that version of the app will uh, announce itself via Bonjour that um, there are some websites available. So I'm going to start a this test uh, website that we were working on previously on my Mac and it will appear at the top of the list here um, at uh, bracho.local which is uh, my Mac's name on port 8080 so if I tap on that the the website that we were working on just a second ago um, you know I obviously can you know test it for you know, portrait or landscape. Um, you know, I could launch the app um, on an iPhone and you know test how it looks on an iPhone. Um, but basically, the the site looks okay on on the iPad, so looks good. Okay, now we're in the split screen mode on the iPad with World Wide Web running on the uh, left hand side and an app called RuneStone which is a text editor for iOS running on the right. Um, both of the apps are going to be working on the same folders uh, the same folder of uh, HTML and CSS that's in my iCloud Drive. Um, you can see on the right hand side there's a, a folder called test in the RuneStone folder of iCloud Drive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the web server section now and open that website folder. Okay, you can see that I'm on my iCloud drive there. 
I've got a runestone test selected, so I'm just going to hit done to select that folder. And you can see the name appears underneath the open website folder. That's my hint that that's the, uh, the folder I'm working with right now. So I can start a web server using that folder. So now I have a web server running on my iPad. Uh, my iPad's name is ProBaby, so it gets the, uh, the URL probaby.local. So now when I switch over to the browser section, I'll see that appear in the list. Uh, it's the same website as I was looking at on my Mac, but it's on a different machine, uh, probaby.local. And there it is. So my iPad just served up the, uh, the file and uh, displayed it on my iPad. To show you that there's no smoke and mirrors here, I'm going to open up the index page um, on in RuneStone. And I'm going to change the header for World Wide Web to the World Wide Web. Uh, this is real. Okay, then I'm done with making that change. I can come over to the right hand or the left hand side here and refresh the page. And there you see that that change I just made on my iPad was um, served up by the, the web server. Make sure to check out the product manual that uh, comes with the app. There's an about World Wide Web section that explains the name, shows some of the features, and gives you more information on how to use the app. Uh, there's a knowledge base that, uh, that will keep up to date with common questions um, and our answers to those. And uh, this app uh, uses the Swifter HTTP server engine. So if you want to know more about how that works, uh, there's a link there that you can try it out. Uh, that's it. Enjoy making HTML and CSS on your iPad without needing a server other than the one that's running on your iPad. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.